Okay, welcome to customizing color bars. We will save the file by the name customizing color bars. Now, plot legends identify discrete labels of discrete points. For continuous labels based on the color of points, lines, or regions, a labeled color bar can be a great tool. In Matplotlib, a color bar is a separate axis that can provide a key for the meaning of colors in a plot. So now, we'll start by setting up the notebook for plotting and importing the functions we will use. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt plt dot style dot use classic now we will run this and now let's say matplotlib in line import numpy as np now as we have seen several times throughout the previous lectures the simplest color bar can be created with the plt dot color bar function now let me show you how x equals to np dot lint space lint space is equals to np dot np dot cos x np dot new axis now plt dot m show plt dot color bar now we will have this so we you can see a simple color bar legend so now we will discuss a few ideas for customizing these color bars and using them effectively in various situations. Now customizing color bars. So we can specify the color map using the cmap argument to the plotting function that is creating the visualization. <coughs> now let me show you how. plt dot ensure map gray we have this a grayscale map color map all the available back color maps are in the plt.cm namespace using ipython's tab completion feature will give you a full list of built-in possibilities so now but being able to choose a color map is just the first step more important is how to decide among the possibilities. The choice turns out to be much more subtle than you might initially expect. Now let's discuss choosing the color map. So a full, st a full treatment of color choice within visualization is beyond the scope of this course. But for entertaining re uh, visualizing on this subject and others, you can uh, visit the article 10 simple rules for better figures. So Matplotlib's online documentation has also has an interesting discussion of color map choice. Broadly, you should be aware of three uh, different categories of color maps. Let me show you. So that's number one. And that's number two, that, and that's number three. So sequential color maps, these consist of one continuous sequence of colors, example binary or veridis. Second one is divergent color maps. These usually contain two distinct colors, which, posi which show positive and negative uh, deviations from a mean, example RDBU or PUOR. And the third one is qualitative color maps. These mixed colors with no uh, these mixed colors with no particular sequence. Example: your rainbow or jet. So the jet color map, which was the default in Matplotlib prior to version 2.0, is an example of qualitative color map. Its status as the default was quite unfortunate, 
because qualitative maps are often a poor choice for representing a quantitative data. Among the problems is the fact that qualitative maps usually do not display any uniform progression in brightness as the scale increases. So now we can see this by converting the jet color bar into black and white. From matplotlib dot colors import linear segmented segmented hope uh, you should be careful regarding spellings color D F grace grayscale C map C map return a grayscale version of the given color map C map C -A -D dot C M C M dot C map C map now color is equals to C map and P dot arrange C map dot now convert RGBA to perceived grayscale luminance let's see uh, now RGB RGB weight zero point two nine nine zero point five eight seven zero point one one four luminance and P dot C R T and P dot colors now three switch to R G B weight now colors three luminance luminance and p dot axis now return linear segmented Color map list C map dot name plus gray gray C map now. D F view color map C map. Now plot a color map with its grayscale equivalent. Now C map C F D dot C M dot get C map. P dot C map now C map grayscale C map 
red. Two dots, red, two maps, now fig reacts to get two dots, but lot. Lot W X six Y six one two now AX zero dot intro colors extend zero ten zero one X grid scale Extend zero ten zero one. So we have line twenty one. Here it is. Subplot is the KW. Let's find the error. Subplot underscore KW is equal to big Now where is the problem? Subplot W why it's invalid syntax Okay, so we have this. Now we will run. And now we will write mm, U color map. Yes, we get this. So notice the bright stripes in the grayscale image. Even in full color, this uneven. Brightness means that the eye will be drawn to certain portions of the color range, which will potentially emphasize unimportant parts of the data set. It is better to use a color map such as Viridus, the defaults of, as of matplotlib 2.0, which is specifically constructed to have an even brightness variations across the range. Thus, it is not only plays well with our color perception, but will also translate well to grayscale printing. View color map. We have this now. If you favor rainbow schemes, another good option for continuous data is the cube helix view map. For other situations, such as showing positive and negative 
deviations from some mean dual color color bars such as rdbu short for red blue can be useful however as you can see i will show you it's important to note that the positive and negative information will be lost uh, upon translation to grayscale rdbu So we'll see examples of using some of these color maps as we continue. 